The part of least resistance is what causes people to take the easy way in almost any situation in their life. And let's face it, it's so much easier to find a shortcut there, a life hack there. On a touch of a button, we can order our lunch, on a swipe to the right, we can change our life. I finished the new book, The Habit Architect, by Caro Angel. Do you find yourself sitting in your favorite restaurant ordering the same items of the menu? I do, I check my Instagram account and you can see often I'm having the same breakfast in Mitsika when I'm in Karu's Geneva. Our life exists of many habits, good ones and bad ones. We are the creatures of the many daily habits we have. Habits can hold us back or push us towards success, depending on how well they serve our vision or who we want to be and where we want our lives to go. I'm reading a lot and I had to create this habit. Habits also make my business work better and succeed better. And when I look around in my circle, the successful people around me all have habits they implemented on a daily basis. For example, for myself with my reading habit, in 2016, I didn't go to the 12 books a year. In 2017, I bypassed already 17 books. I call this a new habit I succeeded in. I meet a lot of people struggling because some habits didn't work. But as the author Cairo Angel wrote, falling back to an old bad habit isn't a failure as long as you understand it and try again. Every entrepreneur like you and me can explain his goal very well. But we can't confuse habits with goals. Goals should be big. Habits should start small. Habits are the building blocks of our goals. For future entrepreneurs or people in the big corporations who uh, wants to create their own career and who doesn't have time to read, now you don't have any excuse anymore. Just start with this book. Then you go to think small to reach your goals and implement them together. You will see results fast. Some cases where this book would be a good start. When you want to put more time into developing a side business outside of your work or develop a new project that would enable you to finally quit that full-time job, but at the same time you also find it hard to commit time and energy. You must have a look at your old, maybe bad habits to start changing them. Maybe you are often late on meetings or you are a daydreamer and get easily distracted by the world around you that will affect your professional life. It, been, it can even be the reason that you don't get that promotion. This book will let you be your own detective and discover what works best for you and it will give you an insight into your own habits as well as your behaviors and how you can change them to build up the pathway towards your goals and your success. <laughs>